that's not the way to do it. That's the reason for that for that yeah. button there. Yeah. Oh, hi. Good morning. 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 You are already stop. Keeping up. What is that? What is that supposed to be? Okay, good morning everybody. It's already Thursday, January 11. I'd like to greet uh Gabe Cassiano celebrating his birthday today. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Gabe. Hope you have a you have a good day. I uh, wonder how uh, how old you are. Hi, Polly is there. See, Polly is the uh, brother of Gabe. Brother. Brother. I mean, sorry, sister. What did I say? Sister of Gabe. Okay, Gabe, have a good day. Okay, have a happy birthday, and I hope this thing starts your day today. Okay, uh, we are going, huh? No. So, okay, we're going to read from the Gospel of St. Mark today. The Gospel of St. Mark. Okay, Jesus tells us, okay, St. Mark tells a story of uh, a, a leper. A leper came to him, to Jesus, and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do, will it? Be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. <laughs> he did not obey Jesus. <laughs> he went ahead and publicized the whole thing. He spread the report, the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. Look at what the leper tells Jesus. If you wish, you can make me clean. And Jesus replies, yes, yes, of course, I do will it be made clean. See, Jesus wants us to be clean. See, leprosy, the man was inflicted with, with leprosy. Um, in, in the olden days, le leprosy, uh, what does that mean? Leprosy is a disease that was uh, rampant, I guess, in the time of Jesus and many years after that. Um, even I saw this kind of uh, disease up close. Okay? And it is a kind of disease where uh, your flesh is being eaten up by, uh, um, by bacteria. So it is, uh, it is a very dreadful disease. Okay? Very, very dreadful disease. And anyway, uh, so uh, that is a, a curse for for um, for many people, they thought that that was a curse and that was the cause of their uh, that was the effect of their sinfulness. That was how people in the time of our Lord thought about leprosy. And so uh, lepers were actually exiled. They were living outside of the city. They were not in, uh, included in the general population. They were not allowed to live with the rest of the people. And so this leper must have, you know, somehow. Uh, encountered Jesus along the road somewhere and and begged him for that. If you will, you can make me clean. And of course, Jesus wants to make us clean, wanted this leper to be clean, and he wants the same thing for all of us. He wants all of us to be clean. Okay? And Jesus wants us to be clean not only physically. He doesn't want us to be only physically well and healthy, but moreover, more importantly, he wants our souls to be clean. He wants us to be morally and spiritually clean. And in fact, that's what, as we recall in the last two days of uh, uh, commentaries, we recall that this is the reason why Jesus has come, right? To save us from our sins, to make us clean, to cleanse mankind of the scourge of sin. So that was the whole mission that Jesus came to, to do. And so here he is, here he is, going about town, 
uh, doing exactly that. Okay, now, this particular, Joe, this particular uh, gospel today is a prefiguring of one of the seven sacraments. What is that, Joseph? Huh? What is that sacrament? Confession. Confession. Oh. See? Confession is a prefiguring of the sacrament of confession where Jesus heals. Right? Jesus is the one who forgives sins. Jesus is the one who heals our soul. But look at what he tells the, the leper. Go show yourself to the priest. Yeah. See? That's what he tells him. Go show yourself to the priest. Okay? Same thing is true with us, right? Jesus wants us to show ourselves to the priest and confess our sins in the confessional, in the sacrament of confession to a priest. Okay? What? What is that? What is that? <laughs> See? Jesus, the, so tell no, no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest. See? That is a prefiguring of the sacrament of confession. That is why our Protestant brothers and sisters are wrong in this regard. See? When they say that you can go to confession directly to God. Okay? That is what they, that is what they talk about. Confession directly to God. Well, uh, Jesus did not say that. Jesus, that was not the intention of Jesus. Here, very clearly... This is a prefiguring of the sacrament when he said, go show yourself to the priest and, and not only that, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. <laughs> See? Because Moses uh, 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 prescribed them to do some rituals in order to complete their repentance and their cleansing. See? So Jesus precisely told him that, right? Do what Moses prescribed for your cleansing. Not only your physical cleansing, but spiritual cleansing as well. Okay? And what is that? As far as confession is concerned, what is the equivalent of that? Huh? Penance. See? Penance. In the case of confession, the sacrament of confession, it's the priest who imposes a penance to us, on us. Right? The priest tells us, you do this, you do that. As a way of showing your repentance for your sins. Okay? So here is a beautiful prefiguring of what our Lord had intended us to do in the sacrament of confession. Now, you see how this guy reacted. He could not contain his excitement. Right? Jesus already told him explicitly, be quiet about this, okay? I don't want you to be going around uh, spreading this news. Just keep it to yourself. Okay? Just keep it to yourself. So just go to the priest and keep it to yourself. Okay? That is also one prefiguring of confession. That we make it a secret confession. We go, we go and, and, and uh, be face to face with the priest. Okay? We don't have to go and stand up in front of the, of, uh, the public and, and confess our sins that way. Right? But what... What could not be contained is the excitement after confession. The excitement that we just received grace. The excitement, oh, God bless you. <laughs> the, excitement, the excitement that, are you also excited? The, the excitement that we just received, forgiveness from our sins. Okay? And just like the leper, see, we become so happy that we are clean and we are forgiven that we go out and, 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 not necessarily tell people that, hey, I just got forgiven for my sins. <laughs> we don't necessarily do that. But, but rather, we actually go out and live out our Christian vocation eh, uh, 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 better. right? We, we, we get excited and pumped up to practice our faith better and better after every confession. That is at least the expectation from us. And that is the natural tendency of somebody who just uh, realized that, that he has, he's the recipient of some, so many good things. That he's the recipient of plenty of graces. That he is the recipient of the abundance of God's mercy and forgiveness. He cannot contain that 
in himself. He just has to get out there and, and, and proclaim it somehow and, and broadcast it somehow and, and spread that good news somehow. Okay? So if we are really genuinely sorry for our sins, if we are sincerely sorry for our sins, and if we are sincerely asking God for pardon for our sins, and we are genuinely interested in changing the way we live our lives, we will be the happiest people in the world. We will be the happiest, most cheerful people in the world, joyfully exercising our faith. Happily going about serving others, beginning from our own brothers and sisters at home. We'll be happy to do all of that. Why? Because we are filled with the grace of God. Okay? It is not, it is not, and... <laughs> It is not an emotional kind of reaction alone, you know? Like the people who are just always so perked up and, and cheerful, like, hi, like they have no problems in the world. You know who I'm talking about, right? There are plenty of people like that, right? Uh, who, 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 uh, who exaggerate their so-called happiness, right? The happiness of the moment, right? That is not the true kind of happiness, that's not the true kind of happiness. The real deepest source of happiness is the knowledge that you are clean. Like this leper. The knowledge that you are clean and that you are united with God because there's nothing that bars you. There's no, there's no dam or dike or, or uh, Mia like we were studying in your science class. There's nothing that, uh, uh, there's no obstacle between your relationship uh, with God right there's a clear path there's union between you and God there are no obstacles there's nothing there are no sins that would block the flow of grace uh, from God in you and that is the real source of joy that's the real source of happiness okay so let us uh, uh, think about these things as we try to prepare for our next confession hmm? As we try to prepare for our next confession, let us try to remember uh, that uh, this story of the leper. Okay? And so that we can benefit much from the way that we go to confession. But you know what? The prayer of the leper here is something we can pray every day. We don't have to wait for confession. It's a nice aspiration to pray every day. To beg our Lord. Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Eh? Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And you can turn that around a little bit. And instead of uh, saying that, you can say, Lord, please make me clean. Lord, if you will, make me clean. And of course, what will our Father God, what will our Lord Jesus Christ tell us? Of course, he say, moved with pity, moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said, I do will it. And he said, be made clean. So I think a resolution for us is prepare for a good confession next time around. Okay? And secondly, repeat this aspiration many times. Not only before confession, but during the day, we can say plenty of it. Lord, if you will, make me clean. Okay, folks, that's it for us. <laughs> okay, well, have a good day. We're off to Mass. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.